The jury of six men and three women found former President Donald Trump liable for sexually abusing writer E.G. Carroll in an upscale department store in the mid-1990s. However, they said he was not liable for her alleged rape. Under New York law, sexual assault is effectively a battery claim, right? It means forcible touching, in this particular case, forcible sexual touching. Rape is obviously more severe, right, and that requires intercourse. Trump's attorney was confident the case would be successfully appealed. But obviously, you know, he's firm in his belief, as many people are, that he cannot get a fair trial in New York City um, based on the jury pool. And um, I think one could argue that that's probably a, an accurate assessment um, based on what happened today. The jurors were asked on the verdict sheet two critical questions. Had there been a preponderance of evidence that Mr. Trump raped Miss Carroll? They said no. But when asked if there was evidence that Mr. Trump sexually assaulted Carroll, they said yes. The jury also found Donald Trump had defamed her by calling her claims a hoax and a con job. Trump lashed out at the verdict on social media, saying, I have absolutely no idea who this woman is. The verdict is a disgrace, a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. How do you feel? How are you feeling? The verdict does not have criminal implications, but the jury has awarded E. Jean Carroll $5 million in damages. It's the first time a former U.S. president has been found liable for sexual misconduct. Trump wasn't present during the trial. His spokesman says the case targeted Trump because he is the front runner in the next presidential election. Frank Uciardo, TRT World, New York.